Hey guys, I want to show you real quick what we did to our van. We wanted to install some cameras on the outside of the van and we really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money and I figured out a way on how to do that. The van that we've got is a GMC Savannah 2500. On the outside there are no windows whatsoever except for the front and that's kind of nice because people can't peek in and it's really private but at the same time if we're boondocking somewhere let's say Walmart, Casino, Downtown we want to make sure that our surroundings are safe. So I'm going to show you what I did. And this is something that you guys can do as well. I went ahead and got two backup cameras. And honestly, it's kind of unusual. And I didn't really know if these were going to work or not. But they work fantastic. You can basically get these anywhere. I'm not going to advertise where I got them because this is not an advertisement. But what I did is I went ahead and got two converter boxes that you can also buy online. And what this box does, it converts the RCA into HDMI. I've got three HDMI inputs on the television, which I'm using two, so that allows me to use another one if I wanted to install another camera. I'm using my inverter to uh, power up the TV in case you guys are wondering. And basically all I do is I go to the inputs, I choose HDMI 1, and this is going to be the uh, right side of the van. And I don't know how good you can see on camera, but that uh, picture quality is pretty damn good. And then when I want to go to the uh, other side, I just go back to inputs and choose HDMI 3. And that's going to show me the other side of the van. I installed the camera here and also on the other side. It was really easy. All you have to do is drill a hole into the plastic and pop that camera right in there. The camera actually comes with a drill bit. And if you look at it, it doesn't really even look like a camera here. It looks like a sensor. These are the wires that you cut. You cut the green one and the white one, and that will get rid of the grid that most backup cameras have. Then you have a red wire and a black wire, and obviously that is for the battery, negative and positive. This was such an easy install. It cost me $99 to do the whole thing, and I have no experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. I hope you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.